My name is Reggie Collins, and I am the director of customer success here at 4UP. And I'm uh, excited to talk to you a little bit about some best practices with online booking and some prepayment. Uh, one of my jobs here at 4UP is to help you, the customer, utilize 4UP to help you become successful. Um, so what we'll go ahead and get started here. So why am, I, why am I talking about online booking and prepayments? Well, last year we just saw this unique boom of, gol uh, of a lot of people wanting to play golf and a lot of new golfers out there in the industry. So we want to make sure that you have all the tools necessary to retain that new business that you now have and make it so that it's easy for them to come in or go online and book tee times and continue to play golf at your facilities. So what we're going to cover today is we're going to talk a little bit about just the basics of online booking. We're going to talk about utilizing reservation booking groups. And we're also going to talk about possibly requiring prepayment. So let's talk a little bit about online reservation groups. Online reservation groups allows you to classify and group out different segments of your customer database so they can have um, special uh, pricing, booking windows, and you can also password protect those groups to make it so that only members can have access to certain online credentials. Um, this also allows you to split out public versus member bookings. Let's talk a little bit about um, what we'll be covering in the um, reservation groups. I'm going to show you how to kind of set up the general settings or how to set up a public booking group, how to set up a member booking group, um, how those can be password protected, and how to en uh, ensure that your customers can't gain access um, to those um, online reservation groups if they're not supposed to have access. So the public reservation group. You have your facility, you can have public, you can have uh, members uh, book online, and maybe you are looking to have your public book um, a shorter time window or a days in, have a shorter days and booking window. With online reservation groups, it allow, you have the ability to set up specific booking window for your public. So maybe they can only book, for example, six days in advance, but then you want your members to book eight days in advance. Or maybe you're trying to increase member play, and so you want to give your members more special, uh, spe more special capabilities to book online. So you can configure that in the system um, by going to the online booking settings and to online reservation groups. You can also set up member reservation groups. This allows you to tag unique pricing and other features such as password protecting, um, special pricing, um, and you can configure um, days and booking window to be longer or shorter as needed. So let's go ahead and take a look uh, at a live demo here in the software. and I'll show you kind of where you go um, to see those reservation groups. So we're going to be in settings and we're going to go to the online customer portal. In the online customer portal, I'm, then, I'm going to then select online reservations. Over here on the right hand side, underneath your T-sheet, you have this section called online reservation groups. Here, are the, here in my demo account here, I have a public reservation group and a, mom, and a member reservation group. So for example, let's take a quick look at the member reservation group. As you can see, I have the ability to set days and booking window to seven. And I'm also giving everyone in the public a regular price class, meaning they're going to book my rack rate. If I click into my member portal here, you can see there's a couple of options that are a little bit different. First of all, I'm giving them a 50 days and booking window, so I'm allowing them to book farther in advance. But maybe I want them to not take my morning times, which are my, my more expensive times, and I want my public to book those. So I'm letting them to only start, book, I'm only going to allow them to start booking at 9 a.m. Here at the top, you also have the ability to password protect these groups, meaning you can check this box, have it be password protected, and then you can say only customers who are a part of this specific pass called golf membership can gain access to this. You can also password protect it by group name. So then if the customer is not a member or doesn't have that group, they can't gain access to this member portal and they'll have to, gain, they'll have to go book online in the public portal. There's a lot of various general settings as well in the online booking portal, such as messaging and um, online reservation view times that we can also assist you with. And you can reach out to us, we can help you with that as needed. So 
Why take advantage of online reservation book, uh, booking groups? It allows you to create a better experience for your members and your public. It also allows you to create special programs where you can focus on um, attaining new memberships or trying to get more public to come play at your course. And it allows you to separate so that your members are booking member times and your public is booking the public rack rate times. Now I wanna switch and talk a little bit about prepayment. Again, with this new 2020 boom of new golfers and social distancing, a lot of businesses had to switch to prepayment. So your tee times at your facility, those are your inventory. If a customer were to book that tee time and not show up, they're basically taking your inventory and not paying for it. You don't want your customers to do that. You wanna take full advantage and making sure that you're getting, uh, you're completely booking out your tee sheet and getting the money for that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk a little bit about turning on that feature and uh, we'll talk a little bit about um, what is needed to turn on that feature as well. Um, so activating this feature is actually really easy to do. Um, what you'll do is you'll go into settings and um, select the online reservation group that we actually just talked about. So let's go ahead and jump into this live demo here and we'll actually do this together. So we're gonna go to online customer portal again, online reservations, and we're going to come over here to our online reservation groups. To turn the setting on, you'll actually click in to online reservation group, the online, the online reservation group you want to use, scroll to the very bottom, and you're gonna see a section here that says allow online payment. Now there's three options. There's not allowed, there's optional, and there's required. Now, if you're a little bit nervous about turning on prepayment for the first time because you have never done it and you don't know how your customers are gonna react to it, you could start with optional. That way they can still go online, book tea times, and prepay if they'd like to. If they don't want to at first, then if and that's optional, they can simply book and then pay at course. And then you could slowly transition to making it required. Again, this is your inventory and you want to make sure that you're receiving payment for your inventory. You also have the ability at the very top to simply require a credit card online that you could um, then charge no-show fees as needed. Click out of this demo. Now, we recently did a case study with one of our local courses here, uh, Valley View Golf Course, and um, they were able to turn on prepayment. Um, and what they were able to see is that there was an 89% increase in rounds booked and a 98% increase in revenue in regards to rounds. Now, customers only book tea uh, and this helps you make it so that customers are only gonna book tea times that they're gonna come and play. So no longer you're having someone book a four, uh, tea time for four people and only having two or three people show up. They're actually going to book for the amount of people that are gonna come and play golf. Um, there's an awesome quote here from one of our local GMs at Valley View um, that he says, I, I have the data now to prove that we should not ever go back to letting customers book a reservation without paying something up front. I have the data and the numbers to show that no, sh that no shows are virtually gone. So what an awesome case study to review and, and you can try it on your own. So you can turn on prepayment, take a look at the numbers and your increase of week after week of trying that out so you can um, show those numbers uh, and, and prove to your board, the GM, to the owner, whoever it might be, that prepayment is a, is a valid option and it can help you increase your rounds and revenue. So the future of booking tee times. The, the future of, of golf, the, the game of golf is very bright and we wanna to continue to grow that. I wanna ensure that you have the ability to grow it yourself as well. And therefore we wanna enable you with the tools to give your customers the convenience to book online. And it's important that you have that plan now to be able to retain all of that growth you received last year uh, through the future years. Um, as you continue to grow your course, as you continue to grow the game of golf, uh, 4UP will be here for you to use and, and provide you with tools uh, to keep going forward.